Hello again, my fellow vapers. It's Crash with CrashVapes.com. Today, right now, on my lap is my new vape box. I told you guys I'd do a uh, kind of review-ish on it when I got it. Here it is. As you can see, it's a pretty good sized de uh, box device. I'm so used to saying device. I want to say device. Um, in it, let me just see if I can get this to kind of work out here. There we go. So in it, on the top, is where I've got some of my larger components, larger items that I can't fit in the drawers. And um, everything pretty fit, fits pretty well. Got a synthesis right here. Still have it in its, uh, in its tube. Carry my calipers in here. And I've got some uh, fluid bottles, some various other juices. Have my, uh, my side cutters for when I'm making my wicks. My vice grips for when I'm doing my coils, my twisted coils. More juice. Here's my main my main liquid that I use, which is that Max Blend stuff. A couple AGAT two or AGAT sitting in here. A little syringe bottle of uh, of my Max Blend. Some oil. Got some various other juices, some DIYs that I've done that I've been testing. And uh, then over on this side here, I keep a couple syringes. One is for my uh, my I Hybrid, and then my other one is for Fluid and my Orion because it's the uh, the larger larger needle. A little pair of uh, pliers just in case your um, needle nose. Then you have your multimeter because everybody should have one of those if you're making your own coils. Have my torch right here, and then a couple screwdrivers. A little mock-off mini did or whatever these things were called. I don't even remember. Had it for a while. Haven't had a chance to use it or need to use it. And that's pretty much it for the top. So everything, as you can see, fit in here nicely. Um, I carry a lot of juice with me because sometimes, I don't know why. I mean, sometimes I like to just switch out and try a different juice in the middle of the day. Um, or if I'm dripping, you know, I drip some different juices for fun. And that's it for up here. So put everything back in. As you can see, this this all goes together kind of snugly, <laughs> but it does fit. Put this stuff in the wrong spot. Put about like so. And then this right here. Synthesis back right here in the front. Close the lid up, and that's it. Now for the two drawers that came in this. It's got this cool little flip down thing, and then it has these separate drawers. And here you can see I've got some more juice. I've got some spare tanks up here for my Orion. I've got a, a spare switch for the Orion. And then here's all my wick making stuff. I've got um, various different nichrome. I think it's nichrome. Can't even remember what it's called. It's been a while. Um, anyhow, some wire, some canthal um, 32 and a spool. And then I've got some ribbon wire in there, my various meshes. And then I've got some... Uh, Silver paste for my contacts on my uh, eye hybrid in case I have to take it apart. And then on this bottom drawer here, I've got some other random atomizers, a couple Ego batteries, an Ego Twist, just in case. Got my 350 um, eye hybrid tube, the stock switch for my uh, eye hybrid, stock cap for my Orion, and then just a bunch of spare parts in here. I mean. I've got this bag of, of goodies for the Orion, some more random O-rings, a spring and something or other for something, I can't even remember what, I hybrid standard ring and then a tight draw cap, there's the switch for the I hybrid, full box mod tip just in case, oh yeah and then I've got a bunch of parts for the, uh, the Zen, the Zen is standard. Extra drip tip, got my Z-Max, Z-Max uh, bottom cap for the dual battery in here. And I guess that's pretty much it for this one. Yeah, not a whole lot else going on. Uh, just in case, a spare dripper bottle. Spare iHybrid tanks in here. As you can see, got them kind of secured in there. Got three spare tanks for the, uh, the iHybrid. And that's pretty much it. So this uh, this little kit is what I carry with me. It goes together nicely. It's very sturdy. 
carrying it around is not a problem. I mean, it looks a little funky if you're walking around in public, but I don't walk around in public with it. I put it in my truck. When I get to my shop, I take it out. And, you know, if I got to change anything out throughout the day, I, uh, I use my box to change stuff. So that's it. Um, I posted another thing a couple days before or a couple weeks ago. Um, down below, if you look, though, you'll see the link and everything to it. I'll also post a link in, uh, in this um, current post as well. But anyhow, uh, great, great box. Worked perfectly for what I needed it for. Plenty of room in there for everything and um, works well. Thanks for coming by. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, feel free to post down below or over at my blog at crashshapes.com. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day.